Game Tsunami, The Electric Froggy. In this video, I will be looking at the pros and cons of JavaScript and blocks in my Microsoft MakeCode for EV3. Let's first look at the reasons why you might want to use blocks. Blocks are nice because they're simple and easy to understand. They can accomplish all of the simplest tasks that you might need to do with your EV3, and the menu is easy to understand. And it is similar to other programs, such as Scratch, which you might already be familiar with. You don't need prior programming experience to understand and program with the blocks. However, blocks are bulky, and so are the comments, and they take up a lot of space, unlike the JavaScript. They have some functionality, but not nearly as much as the JavaScript option, where you can do much more. One example of this would be functions. In blocks, it's not currently possible to add parameters to functions. In JavaScript, you can. The JavaScript menu is very helpful, though not quite as easy to understand as the blocks one. In JavaScript, it is much easier to spot bugs than in blocks, another very helpful attribute. Our team also likes that in JavaScript, you are typing every piece out so you can get your code exactly right. If you're just keeping your code simple, you might want to stick with blocks. But if you're making complex programs, JavaScript is the way to go. At the end of the day, you have to pick what's best for you and your team. It helped us to start out with blocks, and slowly inch our way towards JavaScript. Another thing that helped us out is an amazing resource called Khan Academy. It is completely free and has courses that can teach you JavaScript as well as lots of other topics. We hope you have fun programming and make code for EV3, whether it's in JavaScript or blocks. Good luck 